I'm going to simplify step two for you in a way that anybody can understand it. And the step reads like this, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. And a lot of people who come into recovery, I shouldn't say a lot of people, because I really don't know if a lot of people do, but I know I do. When they come into recovery, they think the booze is the problem and their thinking's okay. They think it's okay. They don't think that they have a mental issue. Like they think they're firing and all, cylinders when they come in. But I'm gonna tell you something. How are you doing off the booze? Just when you quit drinking, is it easy for you to stop? Is your emotions all over the place? Are you, is your thinking all over the place? Are you afraid? Are you hurt? Are you irritable and discontent? Because if you are, you're on step two. That really is what insanity looks like our behavior can be erratic it can be obscure we can be isolating we can be running away from things quitting our job emotional basket case all over the place and what i just described was me by the way <laughs> i just described me because that's the way i was i was paranoid i was afraid unbelievable unbelievable difficulties when i quit drinking step one I had to get honest that I had a drinking problem. Step two, I had to admit that I was cuckoo. And that wasn't easy to do. But over time, over time, I got the hang of it. You know why? Because I ended up in jail sober. Not a drop of alcohol in me. I ended up in jail because my behavior was crazy. It was erratic. It was out of control. But came to believe that a power greater than ourselves can restore us to sanity, the word that I want to tell you to think about or ask you to think about or suggest that you think about is faith. Faith. Not faith in a super God, in a God that's going to, you know, cure you from your insanity. Because I hope that happens to you quicker than it did me. But just have faith that the 12 steps of recovery can help you with your drinking problem, no matter what. If you have a God issue, if you have a problem with God, eliminate that. Forget about it, forget about it. Just have some faith that you and your alcoholism problem can be solved by the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. 12 traditions in service. They're all suggestions. Just have faith that there's a better way in doing something. That's basically what step two is about. And that's the way I handled it. I had no God. I didn't believe in God. God. What is it, some guy, big brain of the sky, you know, pulling some strings, trying to make everybody do what they want? I didn't have any faith in God that helped me. No, I didn't. But I knew one thing. Getting out of jail that morning and have to show up in court in about a week down the road, I knew my way wasn't working. I knew that. I'm gonna give this 12-step program a try and I'm gonna do everything I can and everything that is suggested to me to do to get better. So just a little tiny faith in that program, can you can move mountains basically with it. You really can. I had to quit fighting and understand that I was insane. Because to return me to sanity, I have to understand that I'm insane, insane. But I just need a little bit of faith to understand and have the courage to change and work the steps one day at a time. Faith in the program. If you have faith in a higher power, that's even better. But faith in the program is great too. It really is. It worked for me. That's how I did it. The steps always, people always say in the steps is you'll always find a higher power as you move forward. A lot of us, we have a higher power awakening is the educational variety, the educational. We are learn about a higher power. But just have a little bit of faith and say to yourself, my, my way is not working. My life is like a traffic jam full of accidents. It's just 
crazy insanity. And you don't have to be drunk to be insane. You do not have to be drinking to be insane. Matter of fact, I felt more insane when I wasn't drinking. The booze took the edge off for me. It really did, okay? I hope that helped. And remember, stay the course. The road to recovery is always under construction and there's always something new to learn. Believe me, there's always something new to learn, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're willing to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Can you take another second and hit that like button, okay? But you remember one thing, just remember one little thing. Sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. God bless, ciao for now, time out, see you later. Ala Agueda.